Welcome to Top 5 Niches of the Week. This is episode 154, and today I'm going to share with you five print-on-demand niches that you can target this week to increase your print-on-demand sales. Let's get started. First, we'll start it off with my Amazon Merch sales update. In the last seven days, I did 368 sales, bringing in uh, $1,200 in the U.S. market and around another $200 from international markets. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I have a link in the description. I update my uh, daily sales on my story every single day. All right, let's look at the top 10 before we get to the five niches to focus on this week. These are the 10 best sellers that are not um, IP protected on Amazon Merch right now, brought to you by Podly. Uh, you have the My Son in Law is My Favorite Child. We've seen that selling really strong recently. Uh, the You Need to Calm Down, which I believe was a reference to Taylor Swift. Uh, the butterfly tree which i'm not really sure exactly what that's a reference to i'm not old i'm classic we've seen that before uh the selective hearing shirt which is kind of just like a what generic maybe whenever i see something selling in the top 10 or top five i'm like oh maybe somebody wore it in a tv show or something or maybe it's just an evergreen that randomly sees massive spikes in demand i don't know okay then you've got some uh upcoming trend related shirts like the horse derby uh and the cinco de mayo so we'll talk more about those in top five niches of the week let's let's get to niche number one and niche number one this week is going to be horse race. All right, those are the keywords I typed in, and these are the results that you see behind me. So there's definitely some sub niches within the horse racing parent niche, and this is of course going to be uh, popular right now because Saturday, May sixth, is the Kentucky Derby. Now, of course, if you say the Kentucky Derby as keywords in your listing. You're asking for trouble. I'm not telling you to say Kentucky Derby or sell anything that infringes on the Kentucky Derby. I'm just saying that, hey, horse racing is going to be on TV. It's the most popular horse race every year that happens in May. I believe on the first Saturday it's coming up and there's going to be T-shirt sales associated with it. So um, you guys should be aware of that. All right, niche number two this week is going to be test day. All right, we talked about it last week and we're talking about it again this week test day rock the test you got this there's lots of different sub niches within the whole niche related to end of school year testing you can sell shirts for students you can sell shirts for teachers i'm sure the teacher shirts are probably going to do really well that's why the you got this ones are selling really well i would stay away from the star wars font you know what i mean i'm sure you guys probably recognize this one i'm pointing to over my shoulder I would not recommend that design style. Uh, that's just asking for trouble. It's, you know, you're a marked man if you go after that that design style because you will eventually get reported and they'll probably take down your whole account on Amazon Merch at least. Um, so test day. All right, niche number three this week. Oops, before niche number three, guys, just wanted to tell you I have a free print-on-demand course delivered via email. It is rewritten for 2023. It's thorough. It's concise. It's free. You can find a link to it in the description. I hope you will take advantage of that. And my print-on-demand Facebook group is also linked down there if you want to join the community. Niche number three is Cinco de Mayo. All right, we're a couple weeks away, and there's still time to submit products to Amazon's catalog, get indexed, get visibility, and get short-term sales. As we get closer, it becomes harder and harder, and it's going to be nearly impossible to rank like organic rank one submitting new designs right now because there's going to be so many shirts that have sales history here but you can still submit new designs given how high the volume of search traffic is going to be as we approach the holiday and you can still make some near-term sales so this is great for anybody that's in like the lower amazon merch tiers or if you're just selling on etsy or really selling anywhere we know there's going to be a lot of eyeballs on this niche in the near term by the way, lots of sub-niche potential here as well. For instance, over my shoulder here, I'm going to duck out of the way. You've got the green shirt representing, I'm sure, like an avocado and probably like guacamole. You know what I mean? So don't just think of, oh, Cinco de Mayo, you know, what do we think? Like party? I don't know. I still think of like Cinco de Drinco. Lots of different, you know, Fiesta Squad, the Fiesta Squad shirt. You got to love that one. They're probably selling multiple shirts at a time. Cinco de Mayo drinking team. You know what I mean? We could do a whole video dedicated to Cinco de Mayo sub-niches probably. And of course, don't forget dabbing people. You know what I mean? Dabbing uh, sombrero poncho wearing, you know, Mexican for Cinco de Mayo. All right. And hey, if you are struggling to make good, fun looking Cinco de Mayo shirts, I think that the Cinco de Mayo designs should be big, loud, fun, funny. Uh, Creative Fabrica for $4.99 a month. If you use the link in the description, which is my link, which is discounted, uh, you can get a subscription and access 
just a massive amount of resources that will help you with basically help you improve your design quality because if your designs aren't good enough you really have to scale back and reduce your sales expectations you can't upload bad designs guys so creative fabrica can definitely help you and it's extremely affordable niche number four this week last day of school all right it's sort of related to test day but keep in mind this is a different set of primary keywords so it's going to return a different set of results even though you may be selling last day of school shirts to the same crowd that's interested in test day shirts now the only way to really cross market is probably to have like a shopify store right because when you sell on amazon you sell on etsy we don't really control the you know upsell you know where we offer like hey you wanted a uh, test day shirt do you want this schools out for the summer shirt as well it seems like it would be relevant unfortunately we don't have a way of adding that in unless you're on like shopify or something like that now i'm not saying everybody go open a shopify store i'm just saying even though we theoretically think it, you know, we can recognize that it's a logical upsell wh whether it's you know hey they bought the test day shirt now they're going to get the last day of school shirt or vice versa we don't really have a way of doing that on amazon or etsy so what we can do is just increase our coverage knowing that both of these niches are going to be popular in the next month all right and uh just you know hey we know it's going to be a big niche put your bid in you know what i mean throw your throw your chip in and hopefully get a couple sales carve out a little piece of the pie it's going to be massive guys niche number five this week this one i'm a little unsure of right i don't really understand it but pleasure principle all right and then you've got these like symbols behind me i, I don't know I, I feel like i googled it and i still couldn't figure it out and there's not that many results so it kind of like i'm saying proceed with caution here with pleasure principle i don't really know what it is guys but uh you've got this shirt right here that popped up on my radar and you can see it there in the number two spot with the 75,000 bsr uh two five-star reviews and i mean I, I don't know you know i don't know what more to say here really uh, i would proceed though with caution if at all because now that i'm looking closer it looks like this could have been one single submission that just enabled every product type theoretically i mean it does look like there's multiple standard shirts but i don't know i'm trying to find something that is like potentially because sometimes you see niches like this guys that aren't selling super well on the high end but then next week it could be top five niches of the week and all of a sudden it's, it's in the top 10 we don't know so i'm saying i don't recognize this i have no clue what it means pleasure principle you can see here this one with a different design than what you're seeing in the 10 behind me um spelled out whereas the other ones seem to have this like cryptic you know backwards letters type or backwards numbers in some cases uh and then also on um the uspto trademark search just so you guys know only two of these records are marked as live one of them actually says it has a registration number but it doesn't have a uh, trademark class listed and when i clicked it it didn't say anything about clothing so in theory you'd be safe um yeah i just wanted to share this guys i'm trying to you know, i'm trying to do some more due diligence and find like a more micro niche that is potentially you know you never know how big these are going to get this could also be you know time to fizzle out for pleasure principle whatever that is all right all right emerging trends these are shirts that are uh, significantly outperforming their 30-day average bsr today uh you have office queen happy administrative professionals day of course that's coming up in just a few days and back when i had my first office job out of college uh, we definitely celebrated it we had an awesome um i don't know admin i don't know what to call her but she was she was great she brightens the mood up in the office every single day just by always having a smile on her face so everybody took care of her on uh administrative professionals day and i'm not gonna lie the first time i heard of admin day i was like this sounds like kind of random but at the same time too it was a nice nice to set aside a day to make sure that they get taken care of you know uh taco emergency called nine one one school's out for the summer teacher off duty um not a lot going on at the moment behind me so take a look you got some Cinco de Mayo shirts up there as well looking ahead these are date related trends coming at least a month out from today May 23rd is World Turtle Day May 24th International Tiara Day May 25th National Missing Children's Day May 26th Don't Fry Friday and that's related to sunscreen and May 27th of course one day later is sunscreen day and potentially if you're gonna do don't fry friday maybe sell a long sleeve shirt if you're gonna do sunscreen day maybe do a, a tank top right all right the archive these are shirts that were trending 11 months ago so if we can take last year's trends 11 months ago that means that these could potentially be trending one month from now we have best dad ever we have husband daddy protector hero it's weird being the same age as old people i've seen people selling that via a twitter ad by the way kind of random 
uh, best dad ever so long kindergarten this is my hawaiian shirt i paused my game to graduate so this is kind of telling you guys take note uh th th these are the the trends that are upcoming you got the graduation you got father's day shouldn't surprise anybody at this point right we've been doing this for years now we know it's coming all right remove designs almost done here are some designs that were recently removed in the last two weeks from amazon merch some hundred days of school were removed vias for video games hundred days smarter interesting that a couple hundred days um looks like some family christmas 2022 interesting pro-life shirt got removed softball mom and autism awareness anyways i i wish i knew exactly why they were removed but i don't so i just know if you see a trend sometimes you just got to take note also careful with the uh obi wan cinco de mayo shirts if it's that close to star wars guys just stay away you already know that but just stay away and here's another one that i saw um that went to the dogs of amazon page all right spooky scary sunday i don't know what that's in a reference to um three hoodies were selling that's kind of weird too but when I clicked it, it went to the dogs of Amazon. So um, sometimes I see these like, they may not be new, but they might be new to me. And I'm like, oh, let me investigate this sub niche. And then I get dogs of Amazon. And I'm like, okay, step back, steer clear. Always do your due diligence, guys. You know what I mean? Check check if they go to dogs of Amazon. Check if it's trademarked. Um, you know, do a Google search and just see if it's related to like a TV show or a movie. Uh, keep your account safe. You guys already know that. We're building a long-term, sustainable, recurring passive income business here. That's the goal. Speaking of that being the goal, if you want to learn my full process and learn my full print-on-demand course, uh, it's linked in the description. You can learn exactly how I make six-figure print-on-demand profits every single year, I think since 2019, so I've been doing it for a while now, guys. It's like you're looking over my shoulder, copying my exact approach. You can find out more linked in the description. You can also email me with any, any questions. And uh, my private community, guys, I, I hold multiple live streams a week. If you want to see the replay from this past week, email me, all right, if you're interested in joining, and I will share that with you just so you can see how much value is being shared uh, behind the paywall because it's well worth the subscription. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit that like button to let the YouTube algor algorithm know that you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already. About half you guys aren't subscribed that watch my videos. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.